Hi guys, in this video, I make the trip up Doi Sutep, which is a popular tourist attraction in Chiang Mai. Did you know though, that the Hmong villages you see there are actually from Doi Pui, further up the mountain? I've always wondered if the Hmong coffee thing was just a commercial gimmick and decided to have a look for myself. At about, I'd say 15% of the way up the mountain, I passed by the temple, Wak Prate, which I'm sure I'm mangling the pronunciation of. Seems to be a very popular spot for locals and a small community has sprouted up around it. I reached the Hmong village, which is the Disneyland version with things to do like shooting bamboo crossbows, buying souvenirs and renting their traditional costume for pictures. The tout was really insistent that I stopped there, but I was having none of it. He said that the path was dangerous, but I figured, there's still road, yeah? I can do that, single lane or no. And then suddenly there wasn't. I passed a sign that said under construction and I thought, ah, guess now we'll have road again. But no, the dirt tracks just only got bumpier and bumpier. Finally, I reached the actual Hmong village at Doi Pui. First thing I had to do, of course, was to sample their famed coffee. I had a look about from the air and it was pretty amazing. This little village nestled at the top of the mountain, totally self-sufficient. They were nice enough to let me walk about to have a look at how they were preparing the coffee beans. And then I noticed, I mean, it should have been obvious, but this small village had so many coffee shops. Even this one that was built like a tree house that was unfortunately closed. I thought it was wonderful that in this day and age, a small secluded village could not only survive but thrive. They didn't have much access to electricity, so every house had a stock of firewood. Also, chicken coops. And the village patrol station was literally two oil barrels. And it actually seemed that they were still wearing their traditional costumes as well. And it was all actually hand sewn. This rice mill was actually being used and it's not just for display purposes. I guess this is what village life is like, with the children playing about the whole day while the adults were busy working the tourist attraction version downhill. On a side note, I thought it was so appropriate that the village workshop was built on a foundation of old tyres.
For a moment, I thought about how peaceful and idyllic it would be to spend my life living away up in the mountains. I had one more stop to go though, so I continued going up the mountain, where the roads got steeper and bumpier. And so I reached the strawberry and coffee fields at the top of the mountain. Unfortunately, it seemed that I might have just missed the harvest because all the strawberry bushes were picked clean. There was just this one last sad berry left among the whole field. The coffee trees all around seem to be doing well though. Of course, I had to have another freshly brewed coffee. Doesn't get more farm to table than this. We were literally at the coffee plantation. The sun was getting lower and it was time to make my descent. This was definitely not a place you'd want to be caught driving the dark. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It'll really help the channel out a lot if you could give me a subscribe and a like. In my next video, I'll be looking at how the city of Chiang Mai is doing in its COVID recovery. So, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.